All right, boys, welcome back to another video here today. I got something really important that I want to show you guys, and I want to talk about this, right? I want to see your opinions on this. Let me know down below in the comments. I think most of you will agree with me on this entire fact, but again, I hope you're ready with this one. Hear me out this entire video. It is going to be a pretty decently long one, maybe. If you already left a like, first of all, consider doing so. Let's go for a solid 600 likes on this video. Let's see if we can crack it. If you haven't already subscribed as well, please subscribe. It does help out a ton. Thank you all for the support on the channel. We've officially cracked 13.6K. We know for the delay, let's jump straight into it and let's talk about everything we got here today. So again, I think I'm gonna title this free units are better than premium units. Now, you might be first of all wondering, yo, what are premium units? What are free units? The free units practically include anything from the class 1A banner, okay? These are free units, okay? And I'm not gonna even talk about these S characters. I'm talking about the A characters, the B characters. So again, with these characters, I will stand at the entire fact that they are better than premium characters. Premium characters being somebody like, oh, nope. Be, uh, being somebody like Endeavor, being somebody like All Might. And really quickly, I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the video, but I'm going to say this now. So if I do edit this into the beginning of the video, I want to say this. So here you go. First of all, a lot of you guys might disagree with this point given PvP exists. And yes, PvP exists. I am only referring to PvE content in this video. So PvP, that's different, okay? Getting Aizawa, getting Endeavor, getting All Might, they will destroy PvP. And they are in that section. I can't really say that free-to-play uh, will, you know, actually go and destroy that team. You can. I will say it again that I feel in my fullest opinion. If you were, you know, able to perfectly work out a counter, you can destroy any will team in PvP, even if they have Aizawa, even if they have All Might. I did go and find out that Momo can literally counter Endeavor, Aizawa, and All Might because I went and literally faced, like, a team like that, and Momo destroyed all three of them. I had, like, 29,000 damage altogether. Uh, I think, I don't know the exact damage, so I could be wrong about that, but I destroyed completely with Momo. I'm telling you now, it happened. <laughs> Now again, you might have a different opinion on this, let me hear it down below in the comments, but hear me out first. With a character like Endeavor, for you to get the entire use case out of him, for you to get his full potential, for you to max him on everything, you're gonna have to try and get him beyond S. Not S, you gotta go SS, you gotta go SSS+. Plus. And in order to do that, you first have to either summon on this banner, hopefully you get lucky and do that, but for free to plays, that is almost impossible. At this moment in time, the only thing you can do is get Endeavor Shards from the entire shop over here, which first of all, it comes out to be very expensive given it is hard to get this currency if you're not, you know, you know, progressing higher and higher in the timed rank area. And if you, uh, you know, you have that seven day limit, so really you can't buy that many, it will take you a really long time to go in SS Endeavor just via the shop. So with that being said, first of all, Endeavor, he will take me a while to go in SS. I really won't get his potential. Same goes for All Might, right? Unless you are pulling multiple characters, multiple copies, which I really don't think a free-to-play player is doing that. If you are, you're either very lucky or you're very lucky. That's really it. But now, if you go to the free characters, right? With the free characters, who am I seeing again? Basically, everyone B, everyone uh, A, those characters, they are the best. They have the most potential. And why is that? First of all, I have to explain one thing. 12 copies of an S unit gets you all the way till SSS+. Plus. So let's say right now I have to get my Momo up there. I need 12 copies of Momo. What are the chances I actually go and pull Momo 12 times? Hell no, it's not happening. For Endeavor, it's the same way. I have to pull 12 Endeavors to get him to SSS+. Plus. Now, let's say it's from Uraraka's perspective. To get this character to SSS+, Plus, I do not have to pull all 12 copies. I can do something else. For anyone that does not know the math really quickly, 12 copies of an S unit to get all the way to SS Plus, that will require you 1,080 shards. Now, let's say from a character from Uraraka, which I highly recommend is your first character to go in SS Plus, just from my experience, or not actually, I will say it's Ida or Uraraka, you can also go any other character, just whichever one you are closer to. Why do I recommend Uraraka? Just because a lot of you actually bought the top-up bundle. Uh, or any other bundle when the game first came out. A lot of you being like little light spenders, even like some free to play players went uh, and just turned into a dolphin, turned into a light spender just by buying a $5 bundle, a $1, whatever you did buy. You did get a lot of copies of Araka, so she might be your closest to SS. If you are free to play and you're running it, you might have Sue. Whichever character you want to go and take care of first, 
my goal is probably going to be Uraraka, given that is the character I use the most. Probably Eden will be next, because I really want to build up my Eden and actually use him. He's just sitting in my inventory at level 40. I really haven't taken care of him. I definitely, definitely keep hearing that he's the best character. Let me know in the comments really quickly. Is he actually? Because I want to test him out and see how good he is in PvE. I've just only heard good things about him, so I will take care of that and get that done. But for me, I'm going to take care of Uraraka first. That is the character that I want. Given, first of all, she destroys earlier on in the entire PvE set of content. Her auto AI is very wonky, though. So, yeah, with that being said, again, might be a better alternative to go with somebody else. But, again, if you are taking care of Hero Trials, which I highly recommend you do, which I already know most of you are sleeping on this now, given it's more efficient for people to go and take care of Night Ops, to go and take care of Supply and other things because your currency is running low, maybe you want to get your BP up via Night Ops with chips, there are so many other things you are spending your stamina on, but I can already know a lot of you are neglecting this aspect of the game, which is Hero Trials. Think about this now, it'll take you exactly 7 months to get a character SSS Plus via Hero Trials. First of all, it will take you a while. Given most of you guys have already gotten your character to S, and most of you are already on SS, it will cut that time down by a lot. So again, right now I'm just saying for new players, if you just hit S, it'll take you 7 months grinding this every single day. That doesn't take into account if you get lucky on a banner, which again, it's a higher chance for you guys to go and pull a purple character. Given first of all the pities at 30, every single, what, I'll say week, you're going to be able to pull at least one character if you are somebody constantly on banners. For the class 1A1, practically right 30, you'll get it, and it's a 3.2%, yeah, 3% chance to go and pull one of the characters. Let's say you just keep on pulling Uraraka, focus on Uraraka, get her to SSS+. Plus. So when you do that, you also are able to unlock something else, which I will mention later in the video. But again, seven months it will take you via this method of just going through Hero Trials, which again, you will be able to fully get the potential out of the character by doing that. I would recommend, and again, this will cost you a lot of stamina, this will be the problem. So if you want to focus on one character or two at one time, I really recommend if you want to get your BP up, if you want to get your account there, you're going to have to focus on Hero Trials because... Right now, if you look at Wales, if you look at other players, they are trying their hardest to go in SS, SSSS, and then SSSS plus every single character. And yes, trying to go in SS plus or SSS plus a uh, regular premium character is impossible. It's only beneficial to do this for these type of characters, given you can grind for them, right? You have other abilities. They're purple characters. They're one of the easier characters to go and get. They're easier rates on the banners. It's better here. I highly recommend you do put some stamina towards this and you do not forget about this. But yes, when I'm also making this video, I don't want to make you guys go and stop summoning on these premium banners. Yes, you need the premium banner unit, given the base copy will be what you need for a free to play, okay? That is what you need right now, given you need to go and destroy in PvP, right? Yes, most of you guys lag in PvP, so you only focus on PvE related content, but you still need the base copy, you're still going to summon, but trying to get the most out of the unit, you won't be able to via the free to play status, okay? It's very impossible to get this character given 100 pity is very high. The rates aren't as good given, yeah, you're not going to be lucky enough. I went 160 altogether on this banner on two different accounts, right? Like 40 on this one, uh, 60 on that one, and then again, multiple other accounts. So yeah, it does add up to 160 come down, uh, not just on two accounts, but altogether. I didn't get him. I'm just that lucky. So yeah. And for most of you, you're not pulling more copies than just the one endeavor. Maybe you got lucky, maybe this, maybe that, but you're not really getting the entire thing of getting SSS Plus, which I really recommend you try your hardest to go and complete right away, given you will go and unlock the SSS Plus special shop. I will include this later on at a different time, but with this shop, you guys can go and buy actual shards with other shards. Apparently, you trade in your other shards, and then you can get a currency. With that currency, you can buy shards to characters you have, which is a very good, you know, method. But again, it's an SSS Plus, which I think most of you will not, you know, obtain for another three or four months. Unless, you know, you take care of all of this, you get lucky. Let's say your Ida is SSS all the way right now. You can then go and farm for only Ida. Hope you pull Ida copies. You'll be done within, like, what, two months time? And then, boom, you'll have the SSS Plus shop open up to you so you guys can go and obtain things through there. But again, in the end, take care of Hero Trial. Please go and do all of that. I will state this now. Free units are better for free-to-play players for going and SSing them, SS Plusing them. Those are the units you should be focusing on. I know most of you guys are taking care of your All Might, taking care of your Endeavor, but those aren't the units to do right now. It's definitely better and more beneficial to go and take care of them. Yes, I don't really have that many SSs. I'm just very lucky in this game. I'm just the greatest, man. I'm literally the luckiest guy. I haven't pulled any extras of any of these characters. My Deku and Kaminari are the closest to getting SSed. 
But uh, yeah, not my Moa, not my Uraka. My Ida is closer. So yeah, again, I will take care of everything. I will focus it up. Uh, hopefully, I can go and acquire everything that I want in time. But yes, SSS Plus, SS, I will say, focus on the free characters. Focus later on on your whale characters, uh, which are the premium ones. And again, if you did unlock extra copies, you're the luckiest guy in the world. Thank you again for watching. Peace out, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.